There's your C's. Didn't bring them. <laughs> Walk away in sadness. Just gotta use my little footsies. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Have you... Have you... I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Fort Joe. Is it Fort Joe? I love... It's pretty cool. I love how you made a bed for me. Uh-huh. This is going to fit me just right. Yeah, as long as you scooch over just a little bit. It is a long bed. It is a, well, I could put you at my feet. Mm hmm. We're gonna need some firewood. Am I right? What do you got for uh, for warm gears? For warm gears? I got my shirt uh -huh. <laughs> and a blankie. Joe thought it would be a great idea <laughs> to do a bushcraft the overnighter with a wool blanket only. Uh-huh. We just hope it doesn't rain. Yeah, it might rain. <laughs> <laughs> so I went out and bought the same bivy as Doug. It's the USGI uh, Gore-Tex bivy. And I also have the Italian blanket like he does too. So we will be doing the warm, I mean the cold fire. <laughs> So we'll be doing the cold, warm yourself by the fire type thing when the, the bed's a little far from the fire pit here, so we'll see. But it's not supposed to get down too cold, but one degree tonight, it's going to get up to like six or eight degrees Celsius today. Yeah, right on the ground, eh? If you fit there, then have at it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that was just for, for fun and sake. Uh-huh, uh-huh. For funsies. I do need a gear bomb area. <laughs> you know, I make a man blush. <laughs> <laughs> How'd those skis work out for you? Oh, fun, man. Yeah. A little goofy some places, but pretty fun in the downhill parts. Oh, that describes you perfectly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boys, it's a Sam Squanch. All right, well, the truth of the matter is we're all gonna fit on that bed, even if Joe wanted to. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna dig out this backside here. I'm just gonna lay my bivy in here. What about you, Bush? What's your thoughts? I think about digging down, I'm standing off of here and me just do a ridge line across. A ridge line, yeah. So, so me and Joe, Joe and I only have a wool blanket, so we're using the fire tonight, so that's why we want to stay nice and tight in here. Yeah, you got to get a lot closer than the bed is to the fire, and for two of us. Yeah. Yep. But <laughs> it's hard. I almost need a pick. You got a plastic shovel. You got an axe. You got an axe. You can use your axe. All right. And uh, I'll use my shovel. Sounds good. Then I can keep mine sharp for right. wood. Okay. You can cut out, cut out blocks. Bush, bush igloo over here. This isn't hard at all, man. No, I'm just shaking his head. I was about bringing my hammock. Your hammock? Yeah. Do you have the undercoat? No. I was just going to see if I could uh, put my thermorex in there or do a big old clean bag or something.
right here? Yeah, I think so. So I think I'm going to dig out from the cedars over. Okay, I'll put my head right here. And I'll just lay right here. Perfect. And Joe? Doesn't matter. Joe can go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need much room. I'll just hop in someone's pocket. <laughs> All right. Oh well, yeah, it looks good. I'll either can't. I'll either sleep in the bed or maybe here, d depending um, how cold I get. I'll probably end up here next to the fire, to be honest with you. Well, if we can move that center log over. I mean, you can lay right here just by moving the center. Mm. The, the strength is there. You don't have to worry about it falling on your head. Yeah, no, I think I want to leave that log there. Okay. Boosh. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's cool to have some buddies out here show off the fort camp out here um, we got a big old rabbit to cook to share between the two three of us and we have a big old steak to share between the, between the three of us um, some potatoes and shallots and good food and garlic bread all good food to cook and hang out and um, yeah just enjoy the hut or the, the fort it's a fort Enjoy the fort and the amenities it has and build onto it a little bit more possibly. We can collect a lot of boughs and stuff like that. Um, might be nice to have them on the ground too, uh, if these guys are laying on the ground if I am. But yeah, I'm excited. It should be a fun night. It's around 11 I think in the morning now. Yep, right around 11. We've been here for maybe an hour just kind of talking and deciding what we were going to do. So it was the first time Doug and Boosh met. It was a lot of just... How are you doings and good to know you is. So now, yeah, we gotta continue. I'll help these guys build under what they're gonna be making their shelters out of, or at least their, their sleeping platforms out of. And then I'll show you what I got gear wise. I got um, uh, Italian wool blanket and that biv bivy, like I was saying. So I'll be interested to see the combination of the two. Very durable and very, very able to be next to the fire. trees or <laughs> Trying to remove all the pokies so nobody gets anything in their eyes when they're walking by at night. This is a nice uh, squared out little spot you got. Alright. Right. Indeed. So I've got my little uh, coffin cut out here. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go get some uh, some boughs. So there's a couple of trees that have fallen over. I'm going to cut the boughs off them 
and uh, lay them down here before I set up my camp. But I'm happy with this. Yeah. Hi. Hi. It's cold down here. <laughs> you should probably. Hey, you know what you should do? Okay. Get some boughs. I'm gonna get some boughs. Lay yeah. them down. Yeah. And, uh, There's a dead tree over there, fallen tree. Over here. Yep. Yeah. That way. Thanks, Tips. Yep. I don't know why we didn't think of this at first. <laughs> it's got to be a ship, eh? Keep hearing the ships. Hear the horn? So I hadn't heard them. I mean, this is the fifth day I've been out here doing this stuff, but I haven't heard them at all ever any of the other days. So today we've already heard them like five or six times. So we assume that the water's broken up, the ice is broken up enough for them to be going through now up on the big lake. So, anyways, I uh, I was collecting some of those boughs as you saw, but I'm really kind of paranoid about the eye pokies and everything sticking around. So I'm gonna take my silky saw and go around and clean everything up, like just stuff like this, stuff that's been just like tucked behind the chair that was there, or up by bush, around, even back in here, because now we're gonna be all walking back and forth. Like, look at all this stuff. I can I can definitely use this for kindling tinder and stuff so we'll do that we'll get rid of all this we can actually probably get rid of that tree it looks dead too um, and then we'll continue with the boughs but yeah even for like in the future of having a dog out here and stuff it would just be nice to have it all cleaned up. I did bring my silky saw because it's a little bit nicer to clean up uh, little branches like that with that as opposed to using my axe or my folding uh, buck saw. I've got my Why Not Wildland Scout pack with me. really like to use this pack on bushcraft the overnights. This is my bivy underneath it with my wool blanket wrapped up and it all fits underneath. I've got a big old uh, 12 centimeter billy pod on the side. Uh, it fits a lot of gear for such a small bushcrafty type pack. But what I really do like about it on the inside is this is a removable liner and it comes out and in between the liner and the side of the, the cordura of the pack or the whatever it's made of um, is a little pocket and I can slide my silky saw in there yeah it's packed full of stuff right now so it's hard, hard to get out it's so easy it's the most convenient thing there we go a little silky saw. So that's what we'll use. Throw on the gloves, use the silky saw, walk around, clean the mess up, clean the camp up. I'll show you what I got a little bit later. I'm just gonna kind of kind of weave a little bit. Anything too bulky is a snap off. I'll lay them all out here. Save the little stuff for uh, on top. I think I can go back to that spot and just take a bunch of the little stuff and just kind of lay it on top like some stuffing and it should be good. So these boughs can start, we can use these for a bunch of different things. Doug can use these, Bush can use these, I can use them to start thatching, but they're here now. 
Uh, there's a bunch more over here. I can't believe it. We're nowhere near the lake. This way, it's nice and flush to the tree. That's pretty cool. One little swipe backwards cuts most of them. Even on that big one, I almost did it. All right, well, these guys are working so much, it's worked me up an appetite watching them. <laughs> so I got roast beast with some uh, subscriber mustard. What are you doing? What are you gonna do? You gonna throw a stick in my food? Don't throw, okay, that's good. Thanks, man. Uh, I don't have any more um, carrot wraps, so we're going with the with the uh, whole wheat. Nope, just the plain plain white bread one. That's not the greatest. Not the greatest, Joe. Oh, carrot wraps. Carrot wraps. Yep, I use them. I eat some. show that's too short but I know it's too <laughs> short <laughs> do you want to just add this to it or? <laughs> I'll just I'll shorten up my figure eight and I should be okay All right. I'll let you know my fingertips start bleeding <laughs> you're running a ridge line yeah so I'm running across from this tree here this tree here bring it back and maybe put the excess along this snowball here to help reflect you got a tarp or something or yeah, you, yeah. yeah I got a some cheapies there. I got a nice one too. I'm gonna see nice. which one fits best. I don't know if it's gonna rain or not. Hard to say, eh? It is. Confusing time of the year. <laughs> it is a hard time of year, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm freezing cold. These guys are all warm, and maybe it's because they're working and I'm just standing around eating lunch. But uh, I'm gonna get my, my long johns on. <laughs> Doug's on a t shirt now. <laughs> what the heck? I'm not doing anything. That's the problem. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I already got my puffy my puffy vest on. Somebody had to build the shelter originally, you know? All right, so this is me putting on my long drawings. It's the sound of silence. <laughs> What are you doing? Come on! Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. No! Ah! It went all in my boot! My... Okay, that's enough. No, nope, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Dead serious. Do not do it again. Don't, Doug. <laughs> you can't see it on film. Come on, man. Come on. Where did you buy that sweater, Doug? No, you got a link for that sweater? <laughs> I can't even do it. Yeah. My wife made me this sweater. It's not available online or in your nearest shopping center. Mm. That's unfortunate. It's not the answer people wanted, though. That last sweater in the last video? 100 emails. You have to go to Nepal. Long story short, Nepal. Nepal. Nepal who? <laughs> I got some chaga. Cool, I got some too. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of it lately. I've been uh, wanting to have time, enough time to actually properly brew it. Like the long brew, yeah. yeah. Maybe somewhere 
Yeah, me too. Man, I'm gonna have to bust this up with my axe. All right, well, just busting this pack, pack down snowy ice ground uh, as much as possible so I can level it out. I'm gonna sleep here. Doug's laying there with his head there. I'll lay with my head down here. You can smell my sticky feet all night. Yep, he says he's Better excited than about that. Better so, than your ugly face in front of me. Wow, that's not really nice. All right, so anyways, because it's all uneven, as you can see, the shovel did a good job for the first little bit, but now she's packed in there. I don't want it slanted towards the fire because I don't want to be rolling towards the fire at night. This stuff is solid though. done making my little platform you can see I leveled it out pretty good uh, I just didn't want it sloping towards the middle where we're gonna have the fire here so now I got to go collect some boughs from behind and pretty much do the same thing Doug did a little rectangle of boughs and Bush, is ha Bush has a sleeping bag a synthetic so he's staying over there a little bit farther but us with our bivvies and wool blankets will be here with no tarp above, which is totally fine because those bivvies are Gore-Tex. So, yeah, and they're pretty fire retardant, so it's, it'd be good to be enclosed in a little cocoon of warmth inside the uh, in the bivvies next to the firewood. Or, sorry, next to the fire, but we do have to get an insane amount of firewood to last all night long. Doug's out doing that right now. I gotta make my bed with those boughs. Bivvies will help a lot too because a lot of these boughs are soaking wet. It did rain yesterday. Yeah, I need some more. Ah, oh, man. It feels good on the back, though. Oh. All right, I got a nice big size log to put down next to me, kind of lock me in here, like I was saying, and separate me from Doug a little bit too. <laughs> All right, so that's there. And I got this big uh, top, is dead uh, of a tree that was down, so I can finish out the rest with that and it'll keep all in place, which will be nice. I'm calling my bed done. Nice and lofty. I'm trying to talk here. Free of the softwood. Is that it? Just stand there and let the wood come to you, do you? 
Actually, I was just saying that I'm going to go cut some wood. Cool. I'll get, I got, I got some kindling. Is that, is that good? It's all wet. Everything. Okay. Everything's wet. Might be a good chunk of something. There's a check. Huh? It's a natural check. All right, time to pull our weight, I guess. I know there's a good amount of uh, wrist size maple stuff, so that's what we'll go do. The thing is, we are relying on fire for warmth tonight when we're sleeping. So, firewood's important and hardwood's important as well. You can still walk on top of the snow for the most part. There are post holes every now and then. So there's a lot of dead, good, dry firewood right here. I'll be sure to get a bunch of those pieces right here. <laughs> it's two o'clock. I haven't eaten a crumb today. I think I eat some food. I haven't stopped eating. Really? Uh huh. I haven't had a crumb. One crème de la crème. I gotta have a snacky. Well, no one's stopping you. It's not like you're. Cutting firewood or building shelters or anything. No, I get you. <laughs> All right, let's get some of these guys. Well, let's. You know what? Let's go back here. Let's get the farther one first. It's not that it's far at all, but it is farther. If you guys watched the last video, episode four of the fort, you will see this. All of this good wood. This is the perfect time to use it. We need it for warmth. I'm not just playing bushcraft right now. You haven't had a what? A crumb. One crumb, you say? One whole crumb. Not a crumb. Okay, and this is all very, unlike Doug's wood that he got, this is all very dry. <laughs> solid hardwood so this will all be real uh real good to use you know what i'll chop this down all of this in turn will be easily accessible i might hit my camera with this when it comes down though we'll see oh she's some dense wood This is some dense wood, man. She's about to fall. If you put a little bit of pressure on it, it'll probably fall. Right next to the camera. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm warm now. Uh-huh. What's that? It's funny how it works. Probably not. 
But maybe tonight while I'm somewhat warm by the fire, I will change my mind. I mentioned in my last video that this would make a sweet tree for a tree fort. It's like this old stump that sucker growth grew around. It's got this big hollow right here. And once the snow goes, it'll seem much higher up, maybe five feet or so. Just build it right into here. It may be cool for emerald. Uh, whoa, she's sinky. She's sinky. Another really solid piece of wood here. All right. I'll probably bring all this wood back and maybe start collecting from that other tree I saw. Had some. I'd say that's a fair amount off one tree. It's all solid old uh, maple, I believe. It'd be good to cook that rabbit over top of. Which we probably have to start doing soon enough. Shouldn't use your knees to break <laughs> It's kind of cool having people here with me. It's a lot of fun. Do we all have the same color on? Orange and black? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got the hardwood blade on my... You guys might have the same one if it's the, you got the big raker. Mine are all the same teeth. I have uh, double double bits. Every you guys got the same one? Yeah. Oh, that's the uh, I lost one on my foot. Nice and super dry. Yep. <laughs> Time to get a drink of water. Look at that. Three people cut more wood than one person. True. Crazy how that works, eh? <laughs> Many hands make light work, Joseph. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Wisdom talks with Doug later on. <laughs> Wisdom talks with old Doug. <laughs> Good 
don't act like you're old. I said, well, it's a, the it's old a, dog for the hard road and the young pups for the sidewalk. It's Parched. Old Dougie didn't have a crumb, and young Joseph didn't have a sip. What didn't you have, Boosh? What didn't I have? Yeah, what didn't you have? Not, not much. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> Boosh is good. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> kind of creepy, eh? Just... Yeah. All I can hear is like me raffling around and stopping the silence. <laughs> what is this redness? Baby bell. Baby bell? Baby bell. Oh. <laughs> right in the baby bell. <laughs> All right. Somebody was kind enough to make a nice little bundle You're of. You're welcome. It wasn't you. <laughs> Are you using this stupid striker that comes with it? I am. Oh my goodness. I haven't ground the spine of my knife yet. Here, you want a niffy? Here you go. Yeah, I'll throw it. Just... Nope, don't throw <laughs> no, it. No, I know, but you put your hand out like I was going to throw it. <laughs> Whoa. How it's made. <laughs> How does Joe Robinette get those shots? Da -da -da -da. Yeah. <laughs> have you not heard of Parkour Joe? No. No, he must not have watched the last video. Your video? Yeah. Well, I don't watch your videos. Yeah, why would you? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Alright, need some wood. It's a Joe John. <laughs> Is that hot? Yeah. <laughs> if we can keep it at this intensity. Yeah, we'll be fine. Tonight we'll be okay. <laughs> okay, we only need 15 more bundles of wood. Doesn't keep you guys up. Oh, right, boosh. <laughs> I hope my farting doesn't keep you guys up. <laughs> cool. This looks pretty slick from this angle. Yeah, no, but if like out of the way maybe instead. Oh. Yeah, thanks man. Not, okay. Not yet. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, it's time to uh what is he doing? <laughs> I will never get that image out of my head for his, the rest of my days. I wish you didn't do that. Alright. <coughs> We're gonna get 
<laughs> gonna set the beds up now. I got my bivy and my wool blanket all in here, like I said. So it's a little bit bigger and heavier than I'm used to, or that I would that I that normally. Oh, he's saying it has to come up. Your head is is totally cut. Okay, is this in? You're totally in. Yep. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Thanks, Dougie. Anyway, so inside, wool blanket. Outside, Gore-Tex bivy. Let's roll her up down there. See how she looks. It feels. I gotta unroll it. Unroll it. Yeah. Because I said roll this up. Yeah, roll up down there. Uh, 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 uh. Yep. Yeah. Pop down there, roll her up. <laughs> right, we're gonna roll this up. <laughs> Actually, I'll have my face be down there. Away from Douglas. Alright, that's about a perfect fit there. Oh, yes. The baby really adds to the protection. Oh, man. This is all right. I don't feel any warmth because it's going that way, because it's a long fire that way. <laughs> I feel zero warmth from this fire. Well, maybe you gotta bring it your way a little bit. Well, we're gonna have to. And I'm gonna have to probably lay my face next to you so we can snore in each other's faces. I, uh, nah. Well, I'm gonna do it, regardless of what you say or do, so. I'm gonna have my head up that way if you wanna. <laughs> put your head that way. Yeah, put your face right there, Doug. I built this all up on that angle. Yeah. So that I... Well, I don't care. I'm gonna put my face there too, man. I will smother you with the bag. That's fine. Oh, yeah, this is much warmer this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, no, this is it. Yeah, right here. Oh, this is the stuff. Well. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Don't, don't, do, it. don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, Dougie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I can listen to you chomp in your sleep again. I don't like it at all. Well, it's gonna happen. I don't really care if you like it or not. So, here's your ice back. And, um, like, unless you want me to sleep there, and you can sleep any which way you want. my like. beautiful bed that I Yeah, well, made you, you did also make the fire. You know how you change the heat? You put the stupid wood this way, and then it goes that way. Right? Put it back though, because so, we don't want to get smoked out. Silly hairs. <laughs> put some pieces this way, you'll be fine. I'm still going to sleep with my head here. <laughs> I don't know why. You just want to, that's why. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you guys know each other pretty, pretty good though. Hey? You guys know each other pretty good <laughs> not, not, not in that way. No, I didn't mean like that. What are you oh saying? My God. No, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's so much fun. How much you want? Uh, maybe. That's good. Thank you. What is it? Hey? It's espresso. Espresso. A little bit of Joe glove. No, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so much bacon bank on that glove. So you want uh, you want sugar? No. Definitely not. Really? You really. Are you man enough? I am man enough to not eat sugar. Spruce branch? Yep. Not the ones we've been peeing on though. Oh okay. there. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's a bit strong. I'm drinking some of Doug's espresso. Mmm. <laughs> I think I saw a whisker grow. We do need more wood. Probably got to get that rabbit strung up pretty soon. Actually, we need to figure out something about that too. I have a big tripod that we yeah. can put there. Um, yeah. We got steak and potatoes and shallots. I brought, sh I brought shallots instead shallots? of- Shallots? Uh-huh. That's just the greenery, right? No. Nope. Is it small onions? It's a garlicky, oniony type 
thing. Let's say like a oval. Bush went and skied down a hill somewhere, but <laughs> we haven't heard from him in quite some time, so maybe we have to send him to the rescue party, depending if he comes back or not. We planted into a tree. I can't drink this, man. So tomorrow, when mm -hmm. I make the coffee, mm -hmm. and you say, I'd like to have some like No, coffee. no, no, you said, do you want some? It was a courtesy. Yep, and I was like, man, maybe a little, little sip, and you're like, yeah, tomorrow I'm not gonna. No coffee for you. I'll just. No coffee for you. Coffee nazi. And that's fine. There's, here you go. That's your cup. Oh, I have my sips. All right, this is. Yeah. Can you shut my camera off, please? Oh. You weren't filming anyway. Are you serious? No. Serious. Woo! So as you can see, we've been working on our wood pile. Uh, Bush and I just went out and grabbed a nice solid piece. Those two together, they're as dense as dense can be and nice and dry. While we were out there, Dougie got the old rabbit over the fire. Picks the fire up. Look at the size of this rabbit. So it seems as though old bugs might be a little on the frozen side still, so we're just going to thaw them before we actually give them direct heat. But it's late enough as it is. But look at the size. That's a nice, that's a nice little pinky piece of meat right there. It's pretty pink. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why I like saying that so much. Oh, look at that piece of back fat. You're a piece of back fat. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool scene, man. You're on my bed. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Getting my Joe Dank all over it. Look for the. Wherever I wander, I couldn't be fonder. Right. Don't spend your time. Okay. Cause when you you know it's true. The bare necessities of come to you. They'll come to me. They'll come to you. Yeah. <laughs> and me. But oh, Bush. Boost solo. Hey, everybody, pay attention. Death step right here. Death step. Right here. You step up here, you, hey, you go die. in the fire. <laughs> oh. Show, show me again. I, I don't need to show you again because I tested it for you guys <laughs> so that you know <laughs> See you that what happens is your foot goes into the fire. <laughs> now, I'm not saying. We should depress stuff. Yeah. All right. Well. Just saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it looks good. I like rabbits. Famous rabbits. Let's go. Bugs. Bugs? Uh, who's in the uh, Space Jam? Uh, bugs. Is that Bugs? Lola. Buster. Easter, Bust, Easter Bunny? Buster Bunny. Who's Buster Bunny? He's like Bugs Bunny, but for Looney, t Tiny Tunes instead of Looney Tunes. Okay. Um. Oh, isn't it Roger Rabbit? Yep, Roger, Roger Rabbit. Rabbit. I think he's a rabbit, eh? Yep. Hey. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Bucky O'Hare. See? Don't know that either. Uh, wasn't there like a... What's Bucky O'Hare? Huh? Do you remember Bucky O'Hare? No. Bucky O'Hare. Remember Roger Rabbit? No effects had a rabbit for their logo for a long time. He's not here. A 
punk. There. A punk. <laughs> just... <laughs> okay, start over. Famous uh, rabbits. Famous rabbits, go. <laughs> this one? Hey? This one? You gotta start there, yeah. Famous rabbits. Famous rabbits. This guy, right here. Bugs? Boosh, you're really not helping out here. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was that one? It was Bucky O'Hare from the space the cartoon. Space Jam? No. I don't know any, any of these younger things. <laughs> oh, Peter Rabbit. Oh! oh snap! There. He, End there. He he held out to give the closer. Quality answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. If you know any rabbits, let us know in the comments. <laughs> After you smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> After you go a nice hip thrust. What was this one? What's that? <laughs> this one? <laughs> this is famous rabbit number one. There is there another rabbit in uh Oh What's that what's that uh story about the girl down the hole? Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. The the, the time watch rabbit. I'm late, I'm late for a very very important date. <laughs> He's white, follow the white rabbit. Go ask Alice! I was gonna say yeah. When she's ten feet tall. Is that two different songs? Nope. nope. That's the final, that's the ending. Throw the radio in the tub. Who else White sings rabbit pigs. Is who anyone? Else sing, who else sings that song? Janis Joplin and. and. Is it uh, Cranberries? Nope. Canadian born. Let's more set. No, the boys. Close. Oh. Nope. Jewel. Nope. Celine. Nope. Garbage. Nope. Shania Twain. Nope. You're, you're hitting them all though. Just say Brian Adams and I'll say you're wrong again. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Uh, Avril Lavigne. Uh, really? On the soundtrack. Of what? Of Alice in Wonderland, the, the reboot. Oh. Okay, so, you I know, think... what is this from? People will get this, I guarantee it. So, radio in the tub when white rabbit pink. Mm, mm. What is wrong with Throw you? the rabbit, throw the radio in the tub. No? No. You ever see Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about now? And he whips the orange at his head instead because he doesn't want to electrocute him. So he hurls the orange at his, at his dome. He's like, <laughs> in, the, in the bath. He's all beamed out. It's a wild movie. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm talking about? Not a clue. You ever seen it? No. No Hunter S for you? No Mr. Thompson for you? No. Oh. He's a lovely gent. Uh, well, uh, well. Uh, <laughs> aspiring. I'm not this modern entertainment. Hmm. All right. We'll stick to your Picasso's over there, I guess. <laughs> In your other old timey ways. I lied. That's not Avril Lavigne either. <laughs> Because she she is on the soundtrack, but she sings uh, the Down the Hole or something. That's Alice in Chains. No. The Down the Hole by Alice in Chains. Yeah, that's yeah, I know. And it's the word Alice as well, so it kind of. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. And there's a rooster. Huh? Here I come to hot the root. Oh yeah. This is all gonna be. Here. This is all gonna be deleted anyway. Uh, not from mine. <laughs> this is like the bulk of the video right now. <laughs> this is all the content. Oh. Sorry, viewers. <laughs> I just got my one foot in there shaking uncontrollably the whole time. I'm actually really comfortable here in Doug's bed. Yeah. Not for long. Hmm. Hmm. Neat. You ever think, think about making a dugout canoe? <laughs> Is that humor? It's about time. <laughs> I will tell you a story. Last May, I was in the Amazon jungle in a dugout canoe. That's cool. Fishing. And we actually went out at nighttime, and these big 30 foot long dugout canoes, uh, shining alligators. Oh. <laughs> crazy. That'd be eerie, I bet, eh? Well, the eeriest part was the stupid canoes leaked like a sieve, and the water was up to our knees sitting on the seats, and we actually just got back the shore or it was sunk out there in alligator land. <laughs>
I guess they, they don't call them alligator. I think they're caimans or something. They're, they eat them. Oh, yeah? They they are, they're caimans. They get like four feet long or yeah, so. Yeah, they weren't big. But it was just cool to be out there in the dark in the Amazon in a dugout canoe with yeah. with a native. Guy, yeah. Like, uh, the bush, but a different bush, eh? Like, yeah. I did a, a little bit of uh, going to these like uh, cenotes in Mexico, and they like brought us some like Mexican logging roads through like the Yucatan, and yeah. I, I, it was like a logging road, which was very familiar, but the trees were so different. It, it was kind of neat seeing uh, a yeah. different world that way. I loved it. Every morning, I would go walk down to the river, and all the uh, the natives were down there. They pull their nets. And but they're like the little eight-year-old kids were pulling the nets, and oh, wow. big baskets of fish, and they'd be hiking up the hill with the baskets, and I'd meet them, and they'd show me all their fish. Can't talk to them at all. It was just so cool. That is cool. Yeah. So we have some garlic bread that we're gonna cook in my Svante Eden <laughs> player of, uh, reflector oven. I never seem to get the parts correct when I put this up. It always works, but I never <laughs> assemble it correctly. You know, just par for the course, Joe style. But since Doug has one and he knows how to set it up, we'll we'll just talk to Doug about it. Maybe I can remember it for next time. So she's accordion-like. It's filthy, disgusting. It's fine. <laughs> so it comes with this. You're, you're filthy, disgusting. It comes with this as well. And then, oh, on the back. Flick the little thing up. Yep. Thanks for that. Alright. Yep. Anyways, I knew that part. So she's together. The only part I don't really know is where these wires go. So I'm just going to grab the camera and bring her on in close for a second. While you do that. Or, well, you don't do that so that I can get okay, the, I won't the that. film on the film. Can you turn it around or no? Huh? Can you do it that way? Yeah. Okay. You got the holes. Well, oh, hold on, hold on. I need to see which part is which there, because you got. This All is right, the long yes. one. Okay. Okay. It's got a little hook on the end. Yeah. Right. Hook goes in the front on the top. All right. The angle's the same. All right. Yeah. Now one has a hook and one doesn't. So you put the one in the hole, and that hook one goes in too. And now it's just basically it's locked in there. Okay. All right. All right. Now you say to yourself, why do I want that on an angle like that? Well, that's what the other one's for. This goes on the back. Right? Now you can adjust. So that's laying like that. And you can put that anywhere you need it to be. Right? Keep that level. Well, that makes me feel silly. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome, Joseph. I have to go wash my hands now. It's only like eight-year-old fish tank. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Three-year-old. Three-year-old. It's fine. You're like a tenant. Get in there. Here. We got the bam sun spice on that. The big old steak kit in three pieces. Plus the rabbit. Be laughing. All right. There we go. Steak is on. <laughs> oh, Bob Saget. <laughs> <laughs> There's the uh, a cheesy bread deep inside the filthy oven. <laughs> Show my camera, please. The filth. Oh, look, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Oh, I don't need a light on the side. Thank you. It's making it look really weird. Oh, yeah, that helps a lot. That's perfect, man. Thanks, buddy. So I'll keep that back a little bit for now, and then we'll... Move it in as the steak finishes. Mm -hmm. Alright. Where can I get a three night flashlight? <laughs> Alright, everything is looking good. I think we're about ready to eat. We got the uh, rabbit there. She done. How's that steak look, Doug? Good. We're ready. There we go. 
that, that, and the piece to resist. Oh, oh wait, we got the Bushi, Bushi's baked beans. Oh, baby. Oh, sure, them beans. Boy. That's a lot of beans. That's a lot of beans. They're not going to stay on your plate, though. <laughs> no, I'm going to get it. I'll probably put them in a cup. And then we got this bad boy. She's nice and toasty and hot and melty cheese on there. Here you go, boys. Doug made us some plates. Here you go, Boosh. Thank you, sir. Doug. Thank you, Joe. Oh, no problem. Really Thank you. Idea. Thank you. Do you want this one instead? Well, it is better, but no. Oh, I'll no, take, take this one. Take no, this. No, no, I tried no. to give you the one with the indent so it didn't, the juices didn't no, spill off for you. Beautiful. This is my favorite one. Oh, that's what I thought. That's why I gave it to you. This guy. Let's rip here. Let's take a leg. Let's wishbone it. Wishbone him. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Look at that. Here, Bush. <laughs> Grab that front leg. Is you, we're talking about the rabbit. Look at this. No, the meat, the bread. Yeah. Oh, she's crispy, bud. Boosh. Oh, yes. Look at this. It's a spread, isn't this it? This is beautiful. All right, this is no peasant life out here, boys and girls. Look at that spread. Steak, rabbit, garlic bread. And we got beans. Oh, we got beans. Oh, beans. Let's get that grill in there. All right. I'll get back to you after I'm done. All right. I'll get back to you when I'm done filling my face. <laughs> it's all fresh good. It's all good. I'm so happy. I'm actually happy. You wow. This is what happiness feels like. <laughs> wow. Well, they wised up to the uh, the bear problem. They instituted the bear wise program. The last time I went to Wakami, the guy uh, had a cooler sitting out, and he said, "If I catch you off the uh, off your site in that cooler sitting there, I find you." I'm like, "Really?" I said, "It's a it's a cooler." He says, "Yeah." Is that serious there? Yeah. But I said, "What's the difference if I put it behind a nylon?" Yeah. The nylon tent. He goes, they, they, they see too. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's great though, really, yeah. because like I said, 20 years ago, they were just crawling with bears. The fish cleaning stations, the garbage, they would bring in these big barrel traps and put them beside our campsites. And in the middle of the night, they just slam. Eh? You know how big those you know, things are? Not, yeah. They just slam. <laughs> That's how it's going to end up. <laughs> they're just using the bear traps to the idea. It makes another stick. Okay, there you go. Can you move it? Oh, it makes this chicken. How did it become red? Okay, that's a brand new lens, <laughs> but it's perfect. It should have been more curled again, but it's not dry. You painted it and everything. Yeah. Well, look at that. Throw in the fire. I'll throw you in the fire. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's how Joe's going to wake up tomorrow morning. And then it's really going in the fire. Oh, 
Du Beauvais. You sound like such a drunk. <laughs> I know, I do. Alright, I'm wiped out. It's time for me to go to bed. Uh, it's like 10.30. What time is it? What? Party time? <laughs> no, it's... 11. Oh, it's 11. Alright, well, it's time to go to bed. Alright, I will, uh... Well, we gotta stoke this fire. Keep it going, too. I'm not going to bed. I'll, I'll get with you guys sometime <laughs> throughout the night, I'm sure. Good night. You guys better be quiet while I sleep. Baby, like one of those French girls. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, it's the morning. Good morning, boys. Hi, yeah. Joe. That's probably the last we have that one big, good old chunk of wood there. But other than that, you got up at what What time to do that? Uh, 2.30. Stoked around 2.30. It's, uh, it's 7 o'clock. Look at that. I slept decent. I didn't get up and stoke the fire, so that speaks speaks volumes. No, nobody did. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing there was a wood fairy dancing around at two thirty in the morning. Slept like a rock. Yeah. Yeah. Beauty. This fire is actually decently warm. Get the back to my shirt again. <laughs> How are you? What was the question? How did you fare, young I made it Douglas? The night. That's the answer. Yeah, that's the answer. I was not great until the fire got going again. Mm -hmm. I woke up cold. Makes sense. Well, I got some granola. Anybody bring bacon? Anybody bring bacon? I got something a little bit different. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did. It rained all night long. Yeah, with that, yeah. It is sprinkled. Would you, it wasn't like a like a hard rain ever, but it was constant. Um, but these bivvies did really well, and actually, with that fire going now, they're kind of drying off. It just turtled in these Gore-Tex bivvies, like with the 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 top over the bottom and tucked way down in there. It was totally fine. So I'm pretty impressed. Obviously, I wouldn't want to be in a torrential downpour in this thing, but they w worked for that. I would say it, it rained from, I don't know, it rained a lot. I fell asleep like before my head hit that pillow last night. You fell asleep before you went to bed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was dead to the world, man. You're talking like a drunk guy. It was, uh, did I drink anything? Nope. Are you talking like it? You're slurring your. I'm like, just go to bed. <laughs> if you're tired, go to bed, young boy. But I don't want to miss out on the fun. <laughs> well. Look, dear, there, there's proof of the rain, the wet bag. Look at my wet bag. Alright folks, I think we're going to call that here. We're looking at 8.30 now. Oh, you can't say that. Because I say that. <laughs> You're going to call it here. That's right. How you like it. Alright folks, I think we're going to call it here. <laughs> it's around 8.30. Doug's got, what, a nine hour drive home roughly. Yep. And, uh... Yeah, I've got a poop. So. <laughs> <laughs> Reason enough. Yeah, so we're going to cut it. We all got to go home now. Yeah, that's it. Cut it here. Everyone has to go because of old Joe. Well, we've just been laying around this morning. I ate my granola dry. Doug made up a coffee. Bush made up. What would you make up? Apple cider. Apple cider. And, uh, yeah, Doug's got a long drive. Nothing really else to do, so I'm going to pack it in here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks, guys, for coming. If you guys haven't checked out Doug or Bush's channel, respectively Doug Linker, Bush Trek Bush, I'll put the links in the description, check those guys out. These guys are the first visitors at the fort, so that's kind of cool too. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. There we are.
Peace. Is that what we say? Is that what the kids say? Can you go shut my camera? Peace? Yeah. Why do I have to shut your camera? Can you go shut my camera? When are you going to get out of bed? It's right now because we're gone. <laughs> but I don't want the camera just running. That'd be funny. When are you going to get out of bed, young man? When? I've been up for four hours. But <laughs> Dad! It's Sunday! Get up! Ah! Is it still recording? Well, I'll tell you in a second. It says recording. Nice. Bring my other stuff. I'll come back and I'll scrub it. <laughs> because that's what humans do. They take care of their stuff and they keep things clean and, and in good order. 